Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Concealer and Powder. I just picked these up from my local Walgreens and they are super affordable and super inexpensive. So the foundation runs for $5.99, the concealer is $3.99, and the powder is $4.99. Now, the whole claim of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Concealer Powder is that it's supposed to completely get rid of any kind of flashback from any kind of photography or lighting, and it was said it was tested under seven different light conditions, and those light conditions being the clear blue sky, outdoors at night, indoors at night, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. So lots of testing done. I'm going to actually pull up online their description of the Photo Focus line. So let's see. Now the Photo Focus foundation comes in 20 different shades. So that is awesome. So there's a shade, more than likely a shade for everybody. I can't tell by the photos online how dark the darkest shade is as far as the description goes. It says, your skin only better. Our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time, specifically made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a no filter perfection. So I mean, that's a pretty, pretty good claim. Um, it doesn't have any like long wearing claims. All it has is that it's, you know, not going to flash back in any kind of lighting. I have the shade in Nude Ivory, which was the lightest shade that they had at my Walgreens. Online, the lightest shade is Porcelain, so they do have even lighter shades than this one. Now, the Photo Focus Concealer comes in six different shades, and the lightest one is Light Ivory, so I do have the lightest shade. Um, and I can already tell by the packaging this may not be light enough for some people because this may or may not be light enough for me. So we'll see, we'll see when we put it on. But that is the lightest shade. And as I said before, it is only $3.99. And the description of the concealer is, let your natural beauty shine with our selfie tested creamy and luminous concealer. Tested to be white cast free under seven different photo lighting conditions, this high coverage concealer allows only your best features to get noticed. Gorgeous skin will be your only look. So this one is supposed to be creamy and luminous, but have full coverage. I like that. I, c I can do that claim. Okay, and then the powder comes in eight different shades. and it the warm light which is the color that i have here is the lightest shade so again i can see where this may not be light enough for some people the description for the powder claims your smartphone just met its makeup match pack this genius press powder in your bag for endlessly amazing photos every time light diffusing pigments give your skin a veil of silky natural looking perfection in photos and in real life wear it alone on bare skin or over photos or over the Photo Focus Foundation for a flawless finish. And its claim says it sets makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish, reduces shine throughout the day, and each shade covers a range of skin tones. So there are some pretty hefty claims. Um, the concealer is supposed to be luminous, high coverage, long wearing. Um, I believe it said long wearing. None of these have a legitimate like long wearing claim, I believe, um, except for like the concealer. It just said it was going to be long wearing. Um, and then the powder has a satin finish, so so far luminous and satin. And then I believe it said that the foundation was supposed to be matte. So you have like every finish here. Now, like I said, I don't have the lightest shade in this, but I am not necessarily the most pale um, someone could be. So I think. Yeah, I think this will be a good shade. Now, I've already moisturized my skin and everything, so I typically don't apply primer, so I'm not going to, but I am just going, it comes with like a spatula, so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of that on the back of my hand for now because I have no idea how full coverage or how much of this I'm going to need. I'm just gonna use the brush I have been using lately for my foundation, it's just this nice flat top kabuki brush. 
and I'm just going to start applying this. So it looks like a good match so far. That blended out really, really nicely. And it does have more of a matte finish. It also seems to be pretty full coverage, so I'm going to finish this half of my face and you can kind of, I'll show you a comparative difference between this side and the other. Okay, so you can see the difference between each side. I would normally have, you know, the same kind of redness and discoloration on both sides and that was concealed pretty well. Um, I would definitely say this is medium to full coverage. It has no sticky feel like at all um, it's definitely matte so if you are more dry which I am more dry but it's not like it hasn't clung to any kind of dry patches so that's nice well I do see it clinging a little bit around my nose but I have been blowing my nose like a freaking crazy person so that's probably not the foundation's fault I really like it so far, so I'm going to put it on the rest of my face and then we shall try the concealer. Okay, so I would say this is a pretty flawless finish. Um, I literally just finished blending this out and there is no stickiness or tackiness to the foundation. I would say I have dry skin so um, definitely just make sure you prep your skin with a good layer of moisturizer and you should be good to go I probably will have to use hardly any powder it has pretty full coverage this is this is really nice I'm actually very pleasantly surprised just because I know wet n wild is not known for any foundation concealer or powder I have the concealer in the lightest shade so let's hope it's light enough I like that the concealer actually has a little bit of a, a little bit of a warm tone to it which will be good for under the eyes so I don't know how quickly I'm gonna to need to blend this out so I'm just gonna start under the eyes and I'm just gonna use the brush I've been using to Blend out concealer. So I definitely think that they could make some lighter shades of this, or at least a shade lighter. Especially um, if you prefer highlighting with your concealer. But the coverage is really good. I will say like on, in the viewfinder, I can see like it looks super flawless and it looks pretty highlighted. Um, feeling the texture of the concealer, it's definitely more of um, a creamy, luminous texture. or So it definitely lives up to that claim. As far as like being luminous, it definitely has more of that natural look on the skin which I really like because I don't like my concealer to look dried up and gross so that's nice but if you are any lighter than me this concealer will not work so I will say they can extend the shades that would be nice I would even like a shade lighter because this one is just one that actually matches my skin but I don't mind. It's definitely more full coverage, so it does give the appearance of like a brighter under eye. So that's nice. But now we're gonna test it. I do have a little bit of acne right here in the center of my forehead. Not necessarily like pimples or anything, just some staining that's more red. And it, it covered it. 
Now I'm going to put it, I have some red spots on my chin. See how it covers those. Okay, so my skin looks like flawless. That I am really, really, really pleasantly surprised. This is amazing. I'm kind of speechless. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the powder. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this where um, I think I just get the most creasing, which is definitely under my eyes. Um, so I'm just, let's see. So I'm just super crazy about my under eyes creasing. So I'm gonna put just a smidge of my airspun powder right in the crease of my eye but that is the only place yeah yeah nope 10 out of 10 on coverage the finish of everything is very natural um it's definitely i mean you can tell you have makeup on obviously but i am wearing makeup so i don't mind i mean it, it looks good in the in the camera as far as i can see it looks like i still have you know that luminous satin finish the powder as far as the powder i don't really like pressed powder i love my airspun powder um but this one definitely still leaves your skin very natural like it doesn't look like i caked on powder or anything like that it's really nice the concealer i wish it was a little bit lighter but i mean it, it works for my skin tone if you're any paler than me though it's gonna be too dark so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Alrighty, 70 years later and we have a full face of makeup on. And I did film a tutorial on this look, so keep a lookout for that. But so far, the foundation and concealer are probably gonna be some new favorites of mine. It does sink into my smile lines, but I have never found anything on the face of this earth that, that doesn't do that. So I do see a little bit of it um, getting a little bit, not patchy, but like my nose is very dry and it did seep into like the dry patches around my nose. But again, I have been sick and I have been blowing my nose constantly. So it is definitely just raw around my nose. And I don't blame the foundation for wanting to hide out in there. But I will say my skin looks flawless like if I'm looking in a camera or if I'm like looking in a mirror not like close up or anything it's like a flawless canvas I didn't have any problem with anything going patchy or blending everything actually blended quite well um, which was awesome because sometimes with foundation I can sometimes my contour doesn't blend out all that well so we definitely got a flawless blend that was nice so things lay on top of it very well i really don't have anything bad to say about the foundation and concealer now the powder i don't really notice anything with it um like i said i'm not really much of a pressed powder person so will i continue to use this i don't know honestly um i probably will just stick to my airspun loose powder just because that's my tried and true, but if you are someone looking for a new like foundation concealer powder, I do recommend this line. It is very beautiful. But really quickly, I wanted to do a flash test. No flashback. Now, my face does look a little, a little light, but I have a ton of lights on me right now, so that's probably what it was, but there's no actual flashback. 
Okay, and that is all that I have for this video. If you want to see more reviews or first impressions like this, just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.